Welcome to day two of Project Pack number seven. My name is Rick. Hi, I'm Maria. And today we're going to continue with the gray tile. And I'm going to use a uh, three and a half inch square gray tile. And I'm appreciating it right now. It really is beautiful. And I'm going to begin with the Micron PN. And I am doing a tangle that is, the name is All Stars, and it's by a uh, tangler in Europe named Thomas Padros. And he's come up with some amazing tangles. Beautiful, yes. And uh, this one begins with dots, lots of them. So I'm uh, putting in five rows of five dots, and the way I'm getting them reasonably organized is uh, first I do the corners, then I find the middle, and then I find the middle of those two. And just, just making a little mark, taking my time. So once I have those done, it's sort of visually easy to uh, put the rest of them in. It's like a pegboard like a pegboard with very tiny pegs. Tiny little pegs. <laughs> <laughs> Just picturing Bijou with this tiny right. little screwdriver. <laughs> okay, so once I've got that, I'm going to put a line, on a vertical line on every other one. And it's, this is sort of resonant if you've done the Tangle Asunta. You'll, uh, you'll know what we're doing here. So I'm doing it every other one in both directions. So it looks like the line goes above and below the dot, right? Right. So line, dot, line, dot, horizontally and vertically. And the reason I'm doing it this way is I, I want to draw my straight lines all in the same direction. So instead of turning my tile back and forth, back and forth, I just decided to do all of the lines that go in this direction first. And because you'll see what happens next is we'll turn the tile and all of the, those dots will be lines going in the other direction. So once that is done, we're going to go to each line and make one of those little, sort of like a rice shape or a vesica Pisces and fill it in. You know, like on bales when we, mm -hmm. right? So we're just going to go throughout the entire tile and uh, have fun with that. I'm, yeah, and this is that, uh, the PN. Mm -hmm. It's like a blue-black color, very rich, yeah. be beautiful color. And you might want to mark these uh, blue-black pens because you don't want to grab them thinking they're black. It's, it's that close. Right. So uh, put a little uh, washi tape on it or s something that will remind you that it's not what you think it is. So I've got my, uh, I think I've got all of the little rice shapes or vesica Pisces completed here after this one. Seeds. It could be a seed. Seeds. Thing. Very organized sesame seeds. Yes. Like a bagel with somebody who is <laughs> very, very, very precise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a little bit of takeoff and landing here. So I trace a little bit of one of those sesame seeds. And then I take off and I come around for a smooth landing with an S shape. Right. So I'm connecting the ones on the diagonal 
the sesame seeds on the diagonal that are going in the same direction. I'm just going through every one here. And I, I find that the uh, doing the, you know, the takeoff and land each time really makes the connection from one to the other smooth instead of starting right at the tip and thinking you're going to have the direction correct. And we use that uh, aspect on a lot of the tangles that we... Uh, that we teach, you know, like Cadence or Huggins. Huggins. So once I have them all connected in one direction, then turn your tile 90 degrees, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, and you'll see that they'll just sort of cross in the middle. And so I'm, I'm in my mind, I have the idea that when they cross in the middle, I want, I'm looking to cross at about 90 degrees. Sort of the game I set for myself. And then I figure, well, which way would it be going on the other side? And because there's two lonely seeds out there. Oh, they look like polywogs. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Still with my PN, I'm going to round off where each of those crossed at 90 degrees and fill it in. And, and when you do that, you get this uh, very, very nice, smooth, beautiful star shape without trying to draw a star. You get this pointy star. And I'm guessing that may be something to do with the, uh, the name of the tangle. So we're just taking advantage of the, uh, the, the technique we call rounding. So we'll do that on every single one. I think this is the last one here. And you'll notice that I'm turning my tile each time. And that way my roundings are consistent. Even if they're not really round, they'll be uh, consistently not round. Now I'm using my uh, Micron 01 blue, and I'm just going around and auraing, and I'm beginning, you can see where I'm beginning on the side of each sesame seed where there's that little over and under. So you can imagine that we're really emphasizing how the interweaving is happening much like you would uh, do with Huggins or with uh, Me Too, by putting that aura around the edge, it really uh, emphasizes the uh, parts that are going over and under. And you'll notice when I come up here to the edge, I sort of just curve it just a little bit, just that little hint. And I figured out a way that, okay, I'm, for this, for some reason, I like coming in, out from the side and then going up. I've tried both ways, and I settled on this way. But that's, you know, the part of the fun of doing this is as you're tangling, you, you know, try, oh, am I doing my spirals, you know, from out you know, left clockwise or counterclockwise. And, Are you in Australia or, or New England? <laughs> right. <laughs> so here on the ones that are floating out in the uh, 
with, with unconnected. You'll see how I'm just wrapping that around. Sort of inspired from uh, Me Too. Which is a really cool tangle by Mimi Lempart. You can uh, look that up on, on the app. I think she's, she, uh, it's spelled M I. No, it's M I. With two. a number two. Yeah. yeah. Two. So it mean, means Mimi squared. Right. <laughs> or M I squared. M I squared. do the same on those little floaters out there. Okay, so I think we've got a lot of the, uh, the ink down with the blue. Oh, no, got to do one more thing here. So we're going to take the uh, part that goes under, we're just going to find go middle to middle, and we're setting up a similar resonance there in the middle where the, uh, oh, I forgot one of those. We're setting a similar resonance where they cross sort of at 90 degrees. At least that's the, my objective that I set for myself. And on the ones that are on the side, well, we'll just go through and just let it end. And I think that is, we've got them all until we don't. Those lines coming up to the edge also reinforces the uh, over and under sense. So I'm going back in and filling in the space of that first aura with the white Jelly Roll 10. And I'm just sort of um, putting it down and pushing it along because I want to increase the contrast on the edge of those pieces. Because now when the, when the shading comes for the under part, it's going to be right up against that white. You can see it after it's all there. You can see it. It's pretty already. Yeah. And it's funny is when you're first putting it down, it's like, ah, this isn't really showing up, but yeah, it really does show up when it's all there. Remember to turn your tile and uh, that the, the gel ink stays wet for a while. So you see how I'm holding it very carefully at the edge there. Okay, so now I'm just taking that uh, lovely blue charcoal pencil and I'm holding it the way I'm holding it because I was able, I, I worked the tip down t to where it's pretty blunt. And I'm just putting in uh, wherever those lines crossed, just a, a big round blob because now I'm coming back with my tortillon that I dedicated to blue and just, just spreading that out. Spreading the love. Spreading the blue love, yes. Just definitely has got a look there. Right? So it just sort of fades away like a glow. Mm. So now that I've got that, I'm going to take my 
gold jelly roll. And I'm going to do the same rounding that we did where those other lines crossed. So my idea here was like to, you know, resonate with that first set of uh, stars and have uh, put those same stars over here. Again, I'm turning my tile each time. And with the jelly roll, it's a really light touch. And be careful, because um, the gold takes even longer, I think, to, to yeah. dry. But look at how it just sort of flows out, and you just push it around. That's really nice. So uh, even if it's not, well, just put them in very carefully, but don't don't worry if they go off a, a little bit, because uh, you'll see what we do next. I think the, the contrast of the light and the dark here is really neat. So you're going to let that dry for a minute? Yes, definitely let that dry. So I'm coming back with my blue Micron 01, and I'm just going over the very edge and connecting them. So now it looks like those parts are, uh, you know, opening up and you're seeing the gold behind. Now the gold will um, eventually sort of make it difficult yeah, here I'm having some trouble here because the the gold is jamming up the. Uh, Just have a scrap paper. Pen. Yeah. So what what I've been doing? Yeah. See, it's all. Oh, my pen is dry. No, it's not. Just 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 move it around gently, and things start to flow again. It's probably a metaphor in there. And uh, you go back, and oh, we're all better. So there we go. Go back over that. So that's a, that's a pretty neat effect. Mm -hmm. Looking good. All right. So now let's take some uh, of the graphite and this this tangle just really. It begs for this. It yeah. absolutely does. And we'll just. Uh, just really slather the the graphite on really heavy right up right up against the uh, the edge there and of course we get the pick up the right your dedicated graphite tortillon wow it just makes it right. come to life right not fun like you've you've cut this cut parts there yeah. you know And it's one of those Im impossible things, you know, where it's, wait, there's how many layers of paper? Or, no, it can't be. And again, hold the uh, tortillon at a nice low angle, sort of working in circles, pulling it away, and uh, the, your tortillon will last a lot longer that way. And Tortillon also keeps some graphite on it, so I'm just picking up some, so I can just put it, put it on over there. Looks awesome. Isn't that fun? Oh, pretty. So I want to sort of put a little highlight there, showing you know, like maybe there's uh, this is a little bit of a glossy paper a or twinkle, something. A twinkle, twinkle all star. Right. And up next against the shadow, it uh, nice contrast, right? Mm -hmm. Fingers work well; just softens it a bit. So I'm doing it fairly light and, and sort of using the, the tortillon 
as its own, uh, uh, I mean, using the white charcoal as its own tortillon. Making sure that I get them all. I think so. So it's time to uh, put in the chop. Try to sneak it in there so it becomes part of the, the composition going under. So I want to thank uh, Tomas for this uh, wonderful tangle. And uh, it, was, it was really fun playing with it. And uh, we look forward to seeing what all of you do with it. And uh, please, if you're on the app, put it up on the app with that hashtag. And uh, thank you for playing. This is great. Looks beautiful, Rick. And we'll, uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye now.